In today's video, I want to show you the difference between our futures volatility box models and our stock volatility box models so you know which ones are best suited for you. I'll use the NQ futures to illustrate the differences here. And the setup we're going to be using is the setup that triggered 20 minutes after the market opened. And this is essentially our V-shaped reversal setup. I'll briefly walk through the rules in this video, but I'll leave a list to a much longer video series in case you'd like to learn more about the setup and how to use it. Now, starting first with the NQ futures, I have our scalper volatility box models loaded on. And with the scalper volatility box model, we can see that price action breaches our sign entry line. We have the Keltner channel wedges as that's happening. We see the edge signal confirmation, which is telling us that, hey, we're officially now in oversold territory. And we even see momentum cross with the three EMA crossing above the eight. All of those pieces right there, starting with the volatility box breach, ending with even this momentum cross right here, are what make up that V-shaped reversal setup along with the rules that we look for. Now, what's interesting is the NQ futures breached our volatility box models on their scalper models. And this is a good time to introduce the concept of different models. With our futures volatility box, we have 10 futures markets we look at, so a fairly small list of symbols. These 10 futures include the index markets, all four of them, the S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, Russell. They include the 30-year note, they include crude, copper, natural gas, and gold and silver, and each of their micro alternatives. Uh, for ES, we also support SPX with the futures volatility box models in case that's a symbol you like to focus on. Now, the key difference here is because we have a smaller list of symbols we're looking at, we have five volatility box models available to take advantage of any of these volatility box breaches. Those five models start with the scalper and they go all the way up to the doomsday conservative models. The idea with these five is to be able to adapt to any volatility and because we have a smaller list of symbols, we don't have the same luxury that we have with our stock volatility box. So now let me switch over to the stock chart. We'll load in QQQ. And the key difference you should notice here is with QQQ, I have our aggressive volatility box models loaded on. Those are the most aggressive hourly models we have available. And there you should notice that we don't see that same breach of our sign entry line. In fact, QQQ fell a little bit short and we needed price to come down to near that 438 mark in order to trigger what would have been a breach on the QQQ models. So right off the bat, you should notice the difference where the futures models with the scalper volatility box models, that's what allowed you to catch that morning volatility box breach. In QQQ, we fell a little bit short and we were a little more selective with needing a deeper pullback here. We didn't get that inside of QQQ. Now you might ask why these models are different, and the answer to that is simple. It's because our universe of uh, symbols with the stock volatility box is much bigger than the 10 markets with our futures models. With our stock volatility box, we support more than now 11,000 symbols, and we have even a full live scanner built designed to comb through these 11,000 symbols and find you in essence the needle in the haystack. Where do we have a volatility box model being breached? And we have some technology that allows you to sift through these a little bit quicker, things like the overlap tab, where we automatically look for an hourly breach happening at the same time as the daily breach. If you scroll through any of these tabs, you'll find not only a list of symbols that are breaching real time, so for example, DXYZ, but you'll also find symbols which have recently breached our models, which gives you another watch list to start looking for some of these reversals. The daily models are a great place to start your entire search. So that's the key difference here. With our futures volatility box, we have the five hourly models available for the 10 futures markets we look at. A smaller universe of symbols, but five hourly models to try and find the most day trades. With our stock volatility box models, we have two hourly models, the aggressive and the conservative, and two daily models, again, the aggressive and the conservative, designed to help us find trades in a much wider basket of stocks, more than 11,000. And you can use the live scanner to essentially let us do much of that heavy lifting for you and give you simply the list of stocks where you're getting this breach. I hope you found this video useful in understanding the differences between the futures and the stock volatility box models. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at contact at tosindicators.com. Take care, everyone, and good luck trading. I'll see you in our next update.